Nikki, the road to the championships become a little less crowded, but there still isn't enough room for both of these teams. Which team will become a casualty of the second round in this game between the Georgia Bulldogs and the North Carolina Tar Heels? Both teams need to forget about the wild crowd here and play basketball. The Tar Heels, by all accounts, should have an easy time of it tonight, Nick Vitale. How do they ensure that victory, though? They should listen to me and follow the simple keys, baby. First, set good interior screens to free up your big men on the block. Look to the inside first. Second of all, make sure you take care of the rock. Turnovers kill momentum. Thirdly, make sure you eat up the boards. Well, Dick, let's get down to the court and let's get the action underway. Takes care of the ball until the offense resets. There they come with a double team to stop it. Can't get the shot to go. Gonna take some pride on the defensive end. Number 31 gets the pass. Off the rim and no good. in the low post defensively. Great anticipation in the steal. You can see they did a great job studying in film. They anticipated that ball coming to that post. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Uh, great job using his footwork defensively to beat him to the spot. Looking to move it around the perimeter. Tries for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Tell me to save the play of the night, Brad. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. Dickey's still applying great pressure on the dribbler. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Way off target. Number two takes the pass. Nice move with a face up. I tell you one thing, Brad, I like guys that are versatile in that post. Facing up is a way to take advantage of three basic moves. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. For the bucket, can't get the shot to drop. On the elbow, they feed down to the low block. He squares up down on the low block. I tell you, teach your player to face up and get in triple threat position. You can drive, shoot, or you can pass. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defense. Here's a block from behind. My man was on a mission. Ten on the shot clock. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I'll tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny. With a great block. That was really a nonchalant pass. Get that sucker out of the game, man. <laughs> the low block great block shot they get out on the break the small forward takes the feed he takes the shot from the baseline strong rebound and now looking to move it down court in a hurry as soon as you get that defensive rebound you should be looking to push the ball they strip him in a basketball got a little too fancy too much mustard there They've got a shooter spotting up on the three-point line. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc, looking for the open jumper. Nice job to create the angle using the glass. Inside. Big man spins down on the low block. Does a great job getting the defensive player to lean one way and spin back the other. He keeps the dribble as they reset. Up and inside! The power forward gets the ball. And the ball goes out of play.
The post flashes up high if he wants it. Aliou, number 50, makes a great move to draw the foul. Number 50 is pretty fired up and excited. Hey, can you blame him, Brad? He's getting it done. The Tar Heels will step to the line for the first time. It's that one. And the great defense. Looking for a good shot. He's got the man in the high post if he can get it there. He was guarding him tightly, and then he went for the steal. An unsuccessful attempt resulting in a personal foul. You see, that's what happens when you go for the steal. You end up with unnecessary personal fouls. High post flashes for the opportunity. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Did a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Dumping inside. And our trifecta for the night. Aaron Andrews on the sideline with Dick Vitale. I'm Brad Nessler. Nice to have you along with us. Fast break possibility coming. And the slam. He'll regroup the offense. Trying to pack it inside. He stole the ball. Great pressure there. Fantastic ball pressure. The pressure got to the ball handler, and he lost it. Here's the big man with a drop step. Oh, he does a phenomenal job getting close position, good angle, and then the drop. Teams are looking to get something going here. Inside, takes the pass in the paint. There's the trap. He shoots from outside. I wonder if he's ever going to get any help from his teammates, Dick. He's doing it all and then some. Brad, he's not getting any help out there. It's basically one against five. Not good odds. The offense gaining great post position down low. Absolutely. Getting a good inside angle, a poor job defensively, no help. I mean, that is post play at its best. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Let me hear you say replay, baby. Side. Controlling the ball for two. Unbelievable. Look at that post position. He can't get a piece of that, baby. All right, let's check in. Third member of our team again. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, as you know, points in the paint is a stat that coaches will readily look at, comparing their team's dominance in this category with opposition. Establishing that inside presence is an important facet of consistent success. Aaron's right about that. I'll tell you one thing, she's essentially right. Down in the post is where you create a lot of offensive action. Trying to draw some contact, and he scores despite the hat. Number 50 with the ball. They still don't score. Off the rim and no good. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. And a momentary look from three-point land. And now they'll bring it up. Perfectly executed. That spin move is not going to work against the defense like that. I tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Tries 
for two. Great play to take that to the basket. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post-defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Very soft defensively, no pressure on the basketball. And with that, there's going to be some open jumpers if they don't pick up defensively. Let's go to the third member of our broadcast team. Here's Aaron Andrews. Well, Brad and Dick, both teams appear to be really focused as they return to their benches. This is it for one of these teams, and as you guys frequently say, it's do or die, guys. All right, thanks, Aaron. Drops the bucket despite the harm. Double team now, bad angle. to the circle, way off target. There's a double team waiting there. Steele go up the other way, get a layup. The Bulldogs' success on the gridiron is usually what garners the most attention. They definitely receive a lot of football support, but it's great to see the same folks at the basketball games. He bangs it in for another score. And the hits just keep coming on, baby. The ball goes out of play. Gets that ball in the low block and immediately goes with a shot. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with an up and under move to utilize good footwork. They've got a player spotting up on the three. Here's the offensive drop step in the low block, but better defense. I tell you, the defense doesn't allow him to get to the baseline. Both teams looking to get things going here. Shows patience waiting for the reset. For the bucket, perfectly executed. The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. Great play to take that to the basket. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. They say forget about it. And then he does a little dribbling act here and turns it over. North Carolina are on a run right here as of late, Dick. Yeah, they've started to put it together on offense. Can they keep it together, though? That is the question. Turns it over. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Number 50 is trying to pump up the crowd. He's asking for a bit more in the next possession. Off the rim and no good. He's got a nice shot fake. Tries to draw the charge, and even he has to smile about this one. I tell you, get him in. That's one of the great acting jobs of all time. Get him an Oscar. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards up there. Yeah, that helps. Didn't like what he saw in the post and reverses the ball. He's clearly forcing things right now, Dick. He's taking his team out of the game. Look 
looking for a good shot. Got a nice, and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. I think he's doing a nice job defensively fronting him. Well, it's the key is to really beat him to the spot, get help from the help side, and really do a great job seeing ball and man. He missed on the steal, and that's going to be the offense's game. Yes, sir. They got the advantage right there once he misses that gamble. And he throws it right away. Great steal. Push it up basketball, help one another, communicate. They push it up on the break. Goes up for two. North Carolina are on a nice little run at the moment, partner. Stanford, remember, solid defense leads to good offense, which is what we're seeing right now. On the dribble, gives it up. He wants a three, way off target. A wide open look off the rim and no good. Dick, any advice for the offense against this zone? If they move in a little quicker and stop thinking so much, they just might catch these guys off guard. Yeah, they are really a little stagnant out there. He puts up the tray, tickles the twine. You guys got the replay ready up there. Here we go. Great pressure, great double team, really explosive. Not a wise decision to take that shot there. Yeah, I'm not sure what he was thinking there. They work the perimeter, unloads a three, way off target. Low block for two. Up, oh, easy one. The Tar Heels will have their fans going silly if they can get a stop here. But all sorts of time. Can't get the shot to go. Oh, poor job. Poor job offensively. I'm coaching. He's sitting next to me as an assistant coach. The ball with a duck. Where's he go? Looking for a good shot. Here's a double team. Defensively doing a great job down there, and he's winning that battle there. I think it's very essential that you establish close position by moving that offensive player out, and that's how he's winning that battle. And he'll kick it back outside. He does the sweet fake shot. Tries for two, and in and out. And the ball goes out of bounds. Oh, oh, young man, be careful. Taunting is definitely a no-no. That'll definitely rub the opponents the wrong way. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot. He did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. Up and inside. He shoots. Goes in. He shoots from the top of the key. Dickie simply on fire. Hey, go to the fire department, baby. This one's burning up. Runs him first, Dick, and then works behind. Yeah, he's playing from behind him because that tells me right there they don't respect him as an offensive player. And they made an error, obviously. But they don't have the great respect. So they're saying, you know what? Let him get the ball and let him try to beat us. He gets the rejection. He went up and knocked it away. Top of the circle. The shot won't fall. That's
that spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. He attempts the three. He hits the shot. He can't stay with it. He's got to get some help from his teammates on D. We're working around the perimeter on the inside. way outside. The Tar Heels have got to continue to get him the ball. They need to keep feeding him the ball. It's simple. Working it around the perimeter. And a momentary look from three-point land. We're going to move it around the perimeter. Nicky's working on that low block on that right hip. I'll tell you one thing, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing them off. Obvious foul. And Dick, look at this sellout crowd, and they are loving it. Oh, they're ecstatic, baby. They're ecstatic. Great team play. High post flashes. Got the high pick. With anticipation defensively. With a deep pass. Moving it around the perimeter. He tries a jump hook. Doesn't go. Blocks the shot. There's the trap. Off the rim and no good. Two for one opportunity. He shoots from the top of the key. Nice job of using the screen to get open for that good shot. They're working around the arc. He pump fakes. He draws a foul. Oh, and he's not going to be happy with that call. Well, a silly foul right there, but look at his face. His facial expression tells it all. Here's the toss back out from the post. I tell you, coach's dream when your post player can be an exceptional passer. Cross court. They'd like to get it inside of the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. They go inside and now back outside. I tell you, inside outside action always works. Throws up the prayer. Scorches the net. The Bulldogs lead by three. Well, it's been a close one so far, Nick Vitale. What's your take on the play of the half? The threes were the key for me, Brad. In my books, this shot sparked morale more than anything. When you're hitting threes, everything else comes a lot easier. Well, let's head back down to the court for the start of the second half. North Carolina has turned the ball over a lot more than normal in that first half. They're very sloppy moving the ball tonight. And as a result, turnovers are piling up like dirty laundry. Let's check in courtside with Aaron Andrews. Aaron? Well, Brad and Dick, as we know, this is it. Now, I could hear from both teams' huddles the excitement. They are ready to play and leave it all out on the floor. This is going to be an exciting second half. All right, thanks, Aaron. He shoots from the baseline, knocks it down. Steals the pass, gave it up. For two, up and in. On the outside, takes the pass in the paint, leans in with a layup. Sucker out of the game, man. Tries for two. He keeps the concentration off the contact for the score. For the deuce. And off the mark. Isolated on the outside. They work it around the arc looking for the open jumper. The point guard receives the ball. 
He dials long distance. There's a nice block from behind, Dick. Yeah, that's good timing for the defense. He makes the block. On the dribble, gives it up. Shoots from outside. The Tar Heels have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. That is on fire. Turnaround jumper. Nothing but nylon. Nice smooth turnaround jumper. The only negative, he's falling away. If he misses, he's got no rebound in the building. There they come with a double team to stop it. And has it rejected. Defense did a great job with that block shot. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on the post play. Those long arms trying to get it in front three quarters. I'll tell you one thing. That big guy down inside, though, is so big that really it's tough to deny him the ball. Looking for a good shot. That spin move's not going to work against the defense like that. I'll tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. Makes a move and goes up strong, but that's an offensive foul. Dude. He's out of control, baby, out of control. On the inside, fakes it. Good job defensively. They just won't give him any openings. Pressure in the basketball. Tries for two. I tell you, the jump hook so effective, especially against a big post player. Very difficult to block that shot. paint. Dick, not a bad drop step, but it doesn't work for him. Ate just doesn't beat him to the basket. Not quick enough. And a great reaction by the defensive post player. Taken away. That spin move's not going to work against this defense. That's a no-no, baby. Defensive player beats him to the spot. Number 50 with the fake. He looks for the bomb. Poor decision there to shoot that three. Hey, a few more of those, he may wind up on a bench. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post player. With a little baby hook. I tell you, great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Boy, it's all elbows and shoulders down there, and I think the defense is winning, Dick. I tell you, doing a great job in post defense. A lot of people don't realize that is an area that has to be taught, and this kid has responded in a positive way. Goes up for two. He shoots from the top of the key. Rims out. And a momentary look from three-point land. Sinks the shot. They work it around the perimeter. He shoots from the baseline. The Tar Heels have found a player who cannot seem to miss it. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Here he comes defensively on him on the low block, Dick. I tell you, three-quarter position, trying to deny, but then he does a great job in post position and spreading his body and getting the ball. He goes with a jump hook, and he missed. Looking for a good shot. 
for the bucket. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. Gave it up. The frustration right there. Excellent spacing. That's so important to a good offensive set. It's even more important to have talented guards like they have. Yeah, that helps. On the dribble, gives it up for three. That's an ill-advised shot. That shot was definitely ill-advised. He pump fakes. Gave it up. Great defense. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. For two, up and in. Intercepted. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Executes the baby hook. That's a great shot. I don't understand why it's not utilized more often. It's so impossible to block that shot. Picks off the pass. Shooter spotting up on the three. The center receives the pass. He fires from long range. Oh, he's going to knock those down. Great screen, but no go. Two. I love the sky hook, especially when you get great post position on the interior. That spin move's not going to work against the defense I like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. On the outside for the deuce. With the layup. Jumped in front to take it away. Dick, how's he working him defensively? I'll tell you, he's trying to front right now. You've got three concepts. You can play halfway, you can play behind or in front. They've decided to play it. He takes the hard hack in the air, but he lays the ball in. That's what you take for the team, Brad. That's what I call a celebration, Dick. Hey, Brad, check it out. He's doing a number with the mascot. That's awesome. Number 21 steps to the line for the first time. Got it. Gives it up, looking for the foul. Finger roll. Takes away the pass. Goes up for two. He gets it to go. He missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. From the top of the key. That was nice. <laughs> Tries for two. Great screen set up, but the shot will go. There appears to be a mismatch in the post. Can they get him the ball, though? High post screen. So effective, that screen. Puts it up, looking for contact. Up for the lay-in. They work it around the perimeter. Takes the pass in the paint. Sweet-looking shot. He is super. He really is. Number 
for the bucket. And he missed. Jump hook from the low post. Off the rim and no good. Look at that drive. There, that's more like my stuff. Wow. Little Barishnikov right there. You always were a dancer. <laughs> Looking for contact. He puts it in with contact and all. Kicks it out. Nicky's working on that low block and that right hip. I'll tell you what, he's trying to deny him the ball initially, but the defense really doesn't do a great job of sealing him off. They've left him completely. He blocks the shot. The ball goes out of bounds. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews and what she's got in store for us, Aaron. Well, Brad and Dick, an emotional message from both benches. Let's play our game. That's what got us here. And more importantly, let's believe in one another. Guy? He takes it away. For two. Sweet looking shot. He is super. He really is. the ball length of the floor steals the ball he wants an up-tempo style of game he's money with a shot The defender right on his hip, and I think he's holding his ground, Dick. Doing a great job. I tell you, doing a phenomenal job not allowing the offensive player to seal him off. That's basic. He fires it up. Rims out. The point guard handles the pass. Number 50 with the foul. Second team foul. That's probably why you're out of coaching. Too many points off turnovers. I'll tell you one thing. That leads you to the exit sign. No question. You get the Ziggy. I'll tell you, you got to protect the basketball. You can't turn it over. <laughs> Ziggy. I love that. And he got them both. The Bulldogs are behind by seven. Isolated on the outside. They're working around the arc looking for the open jumper. Tries for two. And off the mark. Finger roll. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. The small forward and has it rejected. Defense did a great job with the block shot. Well, Mr. Vitale, it looks like we're in for a great finish here. I call these ones knee knockers, Brad. Close games that can easily go down to the final second. Picked out of the air. Looking for a good shot. Puts it on the floor and up and under. I did a great job of the ball fake that created the up and under move. And good footwork. It's essential with that up and under move to utilize good footwork. On the outside. Pushing up basketball. He throws it up from downtown. He puts in another score. He can see the light, Brad, and it's hanging right over the goal. For the bucket. Easy one. He shoots from the top of the circle. The Bulldogs have got to continue to get him the ball. Brad, he's on fire. 
Passed on the guy in the post to go the other way. And the ball goes out of play. Boy, assisted turnover ratios are big, and that's a big turnover. I'll tell you, they're turning the ball over too often. You can't win when you do that. at the charity strike. Up and in. Gets the second. Dickey's really sticking to his man defensively down there. I think doing a great job fronting him, trying to beat him to the spot, playing in front, making him throw the lob pass over the top. If you get help, you can take that pass away. For two, off the rim and no good. <laughs> Tries for two, rims out. I tell you, he missed the post guy. The post guy had the great angle, was locking on the box. Picked off. The Tar Heels are a stop away from hearing this crowd go senseless. He beats him to the punch defensively. What a terrific job. Footwork really excellent on a post play. He can't get the hoop to fall. That spin move not successful, Dick. I did a great job on the defense, not allowing him to make that turn. Defense giving some room. Off the rim and no good. He goes for three. He's just not seeing the floor, Dick. He doesn't want to, Brad. He wants to score, and I'll tell you, that ain't good for team morale, baby. They work it around the perimeter. He throws up the shot. Rims out. Picks off the lazy pass. Moving it around the perimeter. Gave it up. Looks for a three-pointer. There's a very tight lid on that rim for him right now, Dick. That's right, Brad. Nothing seems to be dropping. Steals the pass. Look at that spacing. On the dribble, gives it up for the deuce. Contact on the shot attempt causes the misfire. Problem with that when you front, if you don't get some backside help, you're in trouble. Well, you got to get help because you got to see ball man. That's essential when you play on there and you're fronting. Up, easy one. Great defense. Goes up for two. They're having a rough time getting it in the drop, Brad. They should take it to the basket and get some easy hoops. That spin move's not going to work against a defense I'll like that. Tell you, they did a great job scouting post play because they were really anticipating the spin. And a momentary look from three point land. Number 50 is charged with the foul. And we get a look here at our foul and timeout situation. Hey, Brad, many games are lost because coaches fail to manage the plot. Possession air timeout situation. Let's see how these coaches fare tonight. First one is good. Second shot, good. They have found their stroke at the strike tonight, Dick. This has always been an excellent free throw shooting bunch. Timeout's called. Let's check in with Aaron Andrews. Well, at this point in the game, it's about being on the same page. Each player should know what the objective is for the upcoming possession. 
offensively, you must know who the number one option is, while defensively, the type of defense you're going to play or whether to foul. Time is of the essence, Brad. All right, Aaron, we're going to watch that the rest of the game. Good defensive stance there against the spin move. Well, the key is to beat him to the spot, and he did a great job. He anticipated that spin move. They'd like to get it inside to the low block. Unable to so far. Nice job of packing it in defensively. Yeah, they're really doing a great job packing it in. Then a great job of anticipating that lateral pass. Work the perimeter. Spacing so important. Get 15 to 17 feet apart. Basket falls despite the contact. Floor. That shot makes it a one-point contest. Hey, it's anybody's game, baby. Work it inside, and he tries a drop step. Defensively, nice job. Oh, great job using this. Blocks the shot. The ball goes out of play. And again, let's take a look at that State Farm drive of the game, Dick. Hey, the ability to get to the paint is one thing, Brad, but he also demonstrated the ability to finish as well. That's awesome, baby, with a capital A. It's down to a one-point game, Dick. Yes, sir. This is where the big boys start to play, Brad. For the bucket. Lays it up. Game. One point usually means free throws, Brad. Trying to get that ball movement, get that good spacing. Takes the pass in the paint for two. The Bulldogs have a hot hand right now that's scoring for them at the moment. They need to keep feeding the ball. It's simple. Change things up a little bit, Dick, here. I wouldn't be surprised either. Tries for two. He is just lighting it up, Dick. He's beating his man to the spot and hit the shots, Brad. now after dispatching both their first two foes. I'll tell you, Brad, these young men are bringing their A game, and their third-round opponents better be prepared because these kids are looking to go all the way, baby. It's been a fun game, and as always, my partners alongside have enjoyed you being with us. For Dick Vitale and Aaron Andrews, I'm Brad Nesson.